you see we locked him in here. Now it's locked in. I can't fly this. Welcome back. Have you been successful in your search for books? Glad to be of help. Of course. Apocalyptia today. Ah, yes, time for the news. Now, I've got new reports from the settlement known as Big Town that Mr. Vault Guy has helped them out with one. Well, hell of I saw what happened out there, stranger. Those people may have been my family, but it had to be done. I was like them for so many years. It's. I can't even talk about it. The only thing I can do is try to raise these kids and make Andale into a decent place. They'll stay here with me and I'll raise them myself. It's a shame that they have to grow up without their parents. But to tell you the truth, it's a lot better than growing up with their parents, everything considered. Better an orphan than a cannibal, I guess. We'll do our best is what we'll do. Me and the kids here in Andale. What's left of it anyway. It'll be hard going, but we'll do the best we can. I just hope that one day these kids will grow up to do some good for this place after all the evil that's been done here. Sure did. Can't say that I'm proud of it, though. It was all just normal. It's what we all did. I didn't ever think much about it. I married Gladys, just like every boy in Andale married the girl closest to his age. We had Linda, and she grew up to marry Jack. It wasn't until Gladys died that I thought about what went on around here. So many people over the years, hundreds, thousands maybe. But what could I do? I'm just an old man. But you ended it. Bless you. Bye. The people under our system like the king in a monarchy, never dies. This is President Eden, and you're listening to Enclave Radio, the voice of America.
This is Enclave Radio with your host, me, President John Henry E. Set You can only look after her, don't give her any snacks. Why do these guys do that? Give them any snacks. I've got the uh, uh, 
Lessened. Give them snacks. Ah, oh, probably have to redo the 